All right, guys, so we're going to test this gun out. Been sitting on it since uh, I got back from Texas. This is the Barra Airgun PCP. Whew. All right, let's test it. All right, so we're a little low. All right, let's see, let's see. Let's drop that. That joint loud. <laughs> you think that's loud? You got a lot, you got a lot carry to it. And it's a side lever, y'all. So far, it is pretty smooth. Okay, I know where we're hitting now. All right, we should be in the money now. Let's test it out. See what this grouping's like now. What power, where is it at right now? We got to figure out where it's at on the gauge right now. <clears throat> the reason why, guys, is we, I think we found the sweet spot because it is getting really good. And it's right there at the 3000 exact. It is a really good spot. It was shooting kind of all over the place a little bit. And then I noticed it just after one, one shot, it majorly adjusted. So let's put that back up. This might be my new pesting rifle right here, guys. This is this is a fun one. All right, let's see. That's a round on top of a round right there. Ooh. Beautiful grouping. That's it. All right, let's load that up and see if we can get two mags, not only out the gun, but if we could get two mags in that same, pretty much same area. Because remember, this gun isn't regulated, so I want to see where the drop is uh, on this gun. So as soon as I see that drop through the scope downrange, we are going to stop shooting and look at the gauge. So that way I can tell you how many good shots you're going to get on fill. Now that is from the 3000 mark. We filled above the 3000 mark a little halfway into the red. And it was shooting with extreme power, as you guys can see. But it, as when we go down range, you'll see that it wasn't all in one area. It's very sporadic. Uh, so I did notice a huge change, like I said, when we got to 3,000, when it hit that mark, it just was bing, 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 back to back. So we're gonna note, we're gonna see if we could find where it is going to fall at, and then. So, uh, and then mark that so that way we can let you guys know for you guys to get this gun. All right, let's do it. We 
we're doing two groups. Because that first group's getting a little big now. Now, I haven't noticed the drop just yet. Maybe we won't see the drop because we're only shooting at 20, uh, about 25 yards. Uh, but I will say this, guys. The accuracy that we're seeing out of this gun is pretty, pretty good. I can't lie. Uh, all, all three of those small targets we shot uh, with authority, guys. First shot, I was very impressed. And we're going on three mags. Right now, this is the third mag. If you guys are wondering how many shots you get out of this gun on, a, on one fill. So we're going on our third mag and this is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten shots. Ten shot magazine. So that is equivalent to 10, 20, 30. So let's see. I think this gun is awesome, guys. Uh, I'm not sure what camo this is, but if you guys know, drop it in the comments. When Barra hit me up and asked me, which one would you want? I told him, I didn't I didn't care. Honestly, I just want to shoot the gun. All black guns matter. Camo guns matter. It doesn't matter, right? So they sent me this one, and I really love it. But enough about the, the chassis. The gun itself, guys, shoots amazingly. It is very accurate. Uh, we're gonna go check the groupings right now and Man, it, it is just awesome side lever. You got an adjustable cheek riser guys 10 shot rotatory magazine And it is very simple guys. It is not a finicky magazine. They kind of took the design that Brocock uh, has where you load around and then you just move it you load around and then you just move it right that is very efficient easy and not complicated and I wish more of you air gun companies would incorporate this into your magazines. For real. Drop some game on them, Barra. Drop some game on them. Let's go check these groupings out. This thing is... We're going to have some fun. <laughs> We're going to take some pigeons out with this for sure. We, I could already tell. So, I did two different groupings, guys. Two different ones. 25 yards. Now, you're gonna see some flyers. Those were sighting in. I had to sight my, my gun in, right? I had to zero it in. So, we got a couple flyers right here. Like I said, this all from zeroing. Once I got it zeroed, this was our group, right? That's tighter than a baby's butthole. I, I, I have no idea what a baby butthole looked like. Let me just clarify that, okay? <laughs> Stop being weird. <laughs> 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 then we got a second group that looks more like an elephant butthole, right? It's not. <laughs> Stop judging me. <laughs> but as you guys can see, needless to say, guys, it is pretty tight. That is a nice grouping. Hunting, this is amazing, right? Uh, target shooting, this is pretty dang good. And honestly, guys, as you guys can see, we had a very tight hole right here. Oh, yeah. Right? Very tight hole right there. <laughs> and then we had some ones that circled it, or, uh, circled it, right? Just went around it. I think I could definitely get all of them in this hole right here, guys. If I just really hone in on my skills and take the time and have some little bit more patience, I think that could definitely happen. But we're out here and we're trying to fight the sun from going down, right, guys? Because it's getting darker by the moment. And I want to get this footage out to you guys today. So I wanted to come out here and do this. So this is part one of part two. We will definitely have a part two, probably launch part two this week. What's your schedule, Skylar? Big shout out to my cameraman, Skylar. What's your schedule, bro? I'm free. 
Yeah. You're free. Yeah. Oh, let, let's show. Let's show this ugly motherfucker. There we go. Look at it. Look. Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. That's my boy Skyler, man. Really good cameraman. Uh, if it wasn't for him and Jack, man, I don't know where this channel would be. So I appreciate you, bro. Wanted to give you, you know, what I'm saying your time to shine, all that good stuff, man. Rawr. Heck yeah. <laughs> so appreciate you, bro. For sure, for sure. Look at this. Look at the wop. The wop. I'm not talking about no wet ass beep. Nope, not talking about that. I'm talking about the whopping that is putting on these steel targets, guys. Look at that. It's, it's chipping paint, guys. It's a paint chipper. This, this gun need to be sold at Home Depot. <laughs> this, this is a multi multiple usage right here guys i mean we got and this is all speed shooting you guys seen i was bing 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 as fast as i could with that gun with no with no uh how would i say it with uh no experience behind this 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 gun so that's not bad in my personal opinion that means someone that could literally could just hop on this gun that has experience in pcps could just hop on this gun and know exactly what's going on, how to work it, how to do it, how to shoot it, and get pretty good grouping. Two shots right there. Two shots right there, right? I'm telling you guys, that is that's 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 amazing. If you shot 50 cent like this, he probably wouldn't have lived. <laughs> Nine times. But if you had the grouping like that, I'm telling you, there uh. wouldn't be so many many men. <laughs> Right, right, right. You can go in at it, come clap back at you. You know what I'm saying? He don't understand. I got that, man. I got bulletproof Jergens lotion on right now, bro. <laughs> you hit me, it just slide off. He you gonna, know what I'm saying? I pop lock it he off. Gonna, uh. He lived to talk uh. shit. That's, that's what Fifty Cent lived to do. He lived to talk that's shit. That's okay. Bring it on, Curtis Jackson. How you gonna come at me? You can't even take care of your own son. That's a different topic. Woo. See, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But for real though, that is not bad, guys. The grouping that we're getting. I, I could respect that highly. I mean, look, there's those twinsies right there. They're touching. Where's the? Here's the target, guys. What? Perfect headshot. Ping. Perfect headshot, man. Come on, come on. I just picked this gun up, guys. Look at this. Not bad. A little too, a little low, but we hit it. Some dust we, 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 yeah, yeah. That's right. I like that. I like that. What you think, Skyler? Ping. It's not bad, right? Perfect. Not bad. Now, the MSRP for this bad boy, I want to say it's like four or $500. I'm not too sure, guys. Don't judge me on that. Don't quote me on it's it. It's worth every bit. I will. If it is about that much, it is pretty worth it. I can't lie. That's roughly about the same price as the Benjamin Forgitude, which is right here. This is actually my go-to pester. That's actually why it's outside. Right? It's about $350, guys. After tax, about $400. Uh, it's roughly about the same price as this bad boy. Both really, really good guns. Uh, really, really good guns. But both have stuff that the other one doesn't offer. So they're both kings in their own lineup. All right? So I hope you guys enjoyed today, guys. I'm your boy Afro Sniper X. Back in the heezy for sheezy. Yeah, with another one. Yeah, kind of ass backwards today, but it's okay. All right? Like I always say, stay popping that air. Stay shooting that lead. And stay dangerous. Y'all already know what it is, guys. Remember, you only live life once. That's right. Uno. No second chances. This isn't Mario Kart, buddy. I promise you. Right? You get popped, you're probably going to the upper room. <laughs> <laughs> but words of wisdom for the day, guys. Believe in your st yourself. Stay true to you. Stay true to the game, right? Stay true to the game. When I say the game, I don't mean your homeboys that are putting ideas in your head. I don't mean the haters that you see across the street and you guys like to call them your ops, right? I mean, stay true to the game. Whatever industry, whatever you're doing for work, whatever motivates you, stay true to it and you will get the energy back that you put in. That's what it's all about, guys. And believe in yourself, most of all, don't be afraid to take that leap of faith, guys. Because you never know. It might be a sun, some sunshine hiding behind that window. So, let's get it, y'all. I'm your boy, Afro Sniper X, and I will see y'all next time. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of sh** come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Had to rise up just so they could see me 
did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours It takes to get some power Don't be f***ing sour Take a cold shower Scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder And f*** all the doubters They're just f***ing downers